Hi everyone, this is Dr. Lakeisha J. Cole, and I am going to do a very short quick tips session. What I like to focus on as my term quick lessons, okay? Short videos that give you a description of a specific topic. In this particular topic, I will be discussing human nutrition, okay? Now let's just take, for example, I'm teaching a course on human nutrition. The first thing that I always do is I assess my audience and I determine who I'm teaching and what type of environment it is. So for example, when we discuss human nutrition, the first approach is to define. Everything must be defined. You must understand what nutrition is, okay? The study of the science of the six classes of nutrients. And they can be broken down into proteins, fats, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, and water. Okay? Now what we do is we focus on these six classes of nutrients and everything about them. What source are these nutrients originally found? Okay, where would we find these nutrients? Are they plants, animals, okay, or other? All right, for example, are they chemically produced in a lab or otherwise? Okay. <clears throat> Plant, animal. All right. Now, where are they? found in earth. <laughs> okay, in the universe, in the earth. We're going to look at what country. Because when you're talking about six classes of nutrients, these chemicals are found in plants, they're found in animals, and in plants, they have to be grown, they have to be produced, they have to be cared for, they have to be nourished, okay? The proper environment has to be provided. It's all about the environment. What environment will you find for these sources, okay? What is the health of the animal? What place does the animal reside? How is that animal cared for? What is the diet of that animal? Does that animal have any diseases? Do the plants have any diseases? Are they exposed to what types of factors? Okay? All of that is important because these, are they chemically produced naturally by the body? Okay? Now this is where I want to go. In chemistry, we focus on the biochemical relationship between nutrients and our human body, okay? Our body is composed of chemicals, elements, atoms, 
forming molecules. Okay, for example, glucose, which is sugar. Okay. So naturally occurring in the body will have nutrients that our body doesn't our body does not have to obtain from the outside environment. Okay, it's naturally chemically produced. All right. You will find in the body elements of the periodic table. You will find atoms, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, okay, selenium. You will find these natural substances in the body. And then you're going to be exposed to your environment. Where do you live? Where do you play? What type of environment are you exposed to? All of that affects the way that your body performs, your body, how it works, okay, how the chemical processes are being affected by your environment and how that determines your health and well-being. So when we're discussing human nutrition, we're always focused on the biochemistry of the body. The biochemistry of the body. Okay? The biochemistry of the animals. Okay? The chemical composition of the plants. And we're focused on the environment. Okay? You have a chemical environment. What are you exposed to in the air? Okay. <clears throat> air. Water. Soil. Okay. All of these are important factors that affect the human body and they also affect the plants that are growing around the world. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we're going to break this down but what we want to always consider every time we're talking about human nutrition, we're going to consider it from this point. Biochemistry, okay? So that's the biology and chemistry of the human body and the plants and animals of which the source supplies the six classes of nutrients. So see how we've already expanded that? You can't just, oh, these are the six classes of nutrients. We'll break down what they are. There are specific types of protein. There are specific types of fats, okay? Specific types of carbohydrates different types of vitamins and minerals, and water, and the percentage of water in the body, okay? And again, assuming that you've had the proper environment, that determines your human body, which determines the plants, the animals that supply these nutrients, okay? And then we're going to look at the epidemiology the pathophysiology okay and that's going to include for us the anatomy and physiology Okay, because understanding disease, let's take epidemiology, the science of understanding the cause, distribution, prevention, and control of disease among populations. Looking at people, looking at, for nutrition, the animals, okay, their state of health. 
looking at the transportation of the plants from garden to table. Okay, what type of environment are the plants grown? What type of environment are the animals taken care of? And then how is that process all the way to your plate? How is that food cooked? How is that food prepared specifically? What happens to the chemical definition of the plants and the animals depending on the process that you're using to prepare your meals, your dishes, etc. Okay, what about traditions? Okay, cultural traditions that affect the types of foods people are consuming, which determines the type of nutrients that are consumed and the methods, okay? The methods of consumption. Okay, are you supplementing? And some of this that we're learning, you're gonna find it's gonna become repetitive because we're going to break it down and continue to break it down and continue to repeat it. And that's what we're going to do. We're gonna to continue to break it and pull it apart to help us understand more and more about human nutrition. And we're always gonna be able to associate it with the human body, okay? The plants and animals that are often used as the source to provide human nutrition. Okay, so if you're looking at the different methods of delivery, if you're taking a supplement as a person, there are different types, okay? You have pill form, you have liquid, you have powder, okay? Capsule, All right. Um, okay. Which is equal to food. All right. Some people will go into a nutrition uh, supplement, food store, uh, vitamin shop, etc., and they will purchase food products. Okay. That, and that also goes with, we'll talk and discuss, regulation, okay, and policy or politics, okay, associated with human nutrition, how the government, what is the association with the government and the rules and laws associated with how we eat, how we grow our food, etc. Okay, so a person will go into a uh, health center, health and wellness center that provides nutritional products, and you will find different substances that have been produced from, again, plants, animals, etc. All right, and they've been prepared to provide us with those substances for ingestion. Okay, so they'll be ingested or injected, different things uh, depending on the situation. So pill form, liquid form, and then how that food enters the body. Does it enter the body by mouth? Okay. Okay. Is it by veins? Intravenous. Okay. How is is it inhaled? I mean, there are just so many different things. But how is that substance, that food source, entered into the body? So all of this, this is just the surface of it, okay? This is just the surface level of understanding of how we approach human nutrition 
and the environment. And then we can break things down specifically. Okay, vitamins. Fat soluble versus, we're not going to go into all of that, but just as an example. Fat soluble, water soluble. Okay, substance dissolvable in fat, substances dissolvable in water. Okay. Vitamins A, D, E, K. Okay, the B vitamins. Okay, from thiamine all the way to hydrocobalamin. Then vitamin C. Okay, so we can break them down and then we have to go all the way back again to the biochemistry. How are these substances produced by the body naturally? Okay, how do they operate? How do they function? How do they work in the body? Okay, our body is a chemical machine, okay? And it's working and it's functioning, it's operating, and the environment determines the health of the person, okay? And depending upon the body's natural ability to be in a state, homeostasis, okay, the natural state where all the metabolic processes are occurring as necessary to help keep help to keep the body regulated, all right, to make it work and function properly, everything is in sync, okay? That will go back to biochemistry. And you will have, I'm going to move this up in a minute so you can see it better. You'll have the person, okay? And when the person is broken down into chemicals, okay, you will find the elements, the atoms, the molecules, the cells, the tissues, the organs, the organ systems, all creating the organism. Okay, the organism is the person. The person consisting of organs, working within different organ systems. Okay, and the, the health of an individual organ affects the entire organ system. One organ system failure affects other organs for other organ systems and that is the complete human organism okay cells tissues organs systems okay and of course within the cells you're going to find the atoms, molecules, okay? The atoms and elements, molecules, okay? Okay, elements consist of atoms, atomic weight, atomic number, specific descriptions of those particular uh, atoms of elements, okay? Then you will go even further. Okay, with the atoms to having protons, neutrons, and electrons. Okay? Positive and negative charges of atoms. And then how these um, elements, how these atoms, what are their chemical structure? So in order to get the six class of nutrients, in order to get proteins, you have to discuss and understand and study the chemical structure, just like you do the human body. You study the cells, you study the nucleus, you study the protons, neutrons, and electrons, how they work, how they're defined within the nucleus of, whoop, of the cell. Okay, and then you can break it down, 
all right? Once you can break it down and you can understand, then you can go into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven different areas that help you understand the environment. Okay? All right, and that has to do with everything. Okay, genes, all of that. Okay, chemicals. Genetics pertaining to the genes. All right. All right, so this is just an introduction. All of this can be broken down. All of this will be broken down. Okay, but this is the basic basic foundation of understanding um, i'm not a drawer but let's see let's see um ooh, i shouldn't even be trying this way okay but you have oh mm. okay but you have a tree all right and then you have an animal, okay? And all of these, just I'm not an artist, but you have all of these different things that help you understand human nutrition, okay? So over the course of eight weeks, nine weeks, meeting uh, for a couple of hours, a few days of the week, we will be breaking this down constantly, constantly breaking this down, okay? There are so many different resources that can be used to help, but I like to stay focused. Um, I don't like information overload. Uh, there are different resources and different learning materials because there are different methods of learning. Some people are auditory they like to listen and hear a lesson others are visual learners they like to see um, a visual display and some are both so there are many different types of materials produced to help any person learn and understand specific types of material okay on various topics so i like that we are able to use a textbook because that can just focus our energy. It's going to focus our energy on the basics, which is everything here is just helping you understand the basics. Okay? You can dive into regulation and politics. You can tear that up. You can tear up methods, different types of supplements, where they're produced, how they're produced in a manufacturing setting. Um, when they're on the shelves within a vitamin shop or other health center, uh, if it's food or if it's a dietary supplement, how is that food product stored, okay? What form is it in? What temperature, what type of environment does it need to be in? Then we're gonna look at the cultural traditions. How does a religious affiliation determine how a person or group of people eat and consume their foods, okay? Which foods are eliminated? Which foods are provided in a supplementary form? Which foods um, will be consumed in a specific type of way by a practicing body, okay? The way that a person believes and understands and honors a tradition, how does that affect the culture associated with human nutrition and receiving nutrients to fuel, energize, and maintain and sustain the body. And how does that affect health? Does it help improve health? Does it cause declination in health? Okay, what types of changes? Pathophysiology, the study and the structure and the function of disease process. How does a disease originate in the body? Where does it begin? How does it progress? Okay. Uh, what areas of the body are affected? Uh, 
uh, epidemiology, as always, the science and understanding, looking at persons within a group, within a population, and who's being affected specifically. What are the modes and methods in which a community is being exposed to a particular disease? What are the common factors, okay? Uh, biology and chemistry, elements, atoms, molecules, uh, the structure and the function, how it works, how it is chemically structured and put together, okay, biochemistry, what are the metabolic processes that are occurring, all right, and what do they have to do with homeostasis, okay, the body's natural stability. Because everything is about maintaining homeostasis, a natural chemical environment that allows everything to function as such. Okay, so this is the beginning. What's today? The 13th? Monday, the 13th. Okay, but just staying focused on a particular source instead of being all over the place because you're going to, in studying biochemistry, you're going to cover uh, the regulation and politics associated with human nutrition. When you study nutritional biochem biochemistry, when you study nutritional epidemiology, when you study pathophysiology associated with human nutrition, overnutrition or undernutrition, Okay, excess or um, not enough, okay? Insufficient, deficient, all right? So, um, again, all of this, there's no way that you can talk about human nutrition without covering all of this. So there's a lot of chemistry involved. There is a lot of understanding about politics and regulation and cultural traditions and disease, um, health improvement as well. So health and well-being, the improvement of health, the declination of health, and how these six classes of nutrients are associated with all of this, okay? Um, and again, all of this can be broken down, vitamins, starting with thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, panathenic acid. You, you're just going to go all the way down, hydrocobalamin, um, pyridoxine. It's, it's just going to, okay, open up, all right? You'll be able to learn food sources. You'll be able to learn what um, types of cultural traditions uh, use animals to obtain certain nutrients, how they're used to develop certain uh, products that eventually get into a bottle, okay? Um, but we're going to learn a lot, and this is Dr. Lakeisha J. Cole of thefaithoutcome.com, and uh, this is Quick Lessons. Uh, that was 28. 29 minutes and then I'm just going to move this up a little bit and then I will take a picture as well um, because it's pretty dark but this is just the beginning to help understand how it all comes together okay and the picture will make it clearer um, but I pretty much talked about it and this is fun so, Dr. Lakeisha J. Cole, have a wonderful week.